Hey guys and welcome! With season 4 around the corner we got a new easter egg in Battlefield 2042 and this one is a bit more challenging and time consuming than the former ones, so I'm gonna guide you through all of it and show you all locations for satellites, radios, jammers and switches. A few things you should know before starting the hunt. First of all you have to do it in the correct order, so you have to start with Spearhead, then go on to Manifest, then Exposure and at the end Breakaway. To complete the easter egg you need to be on a server with full XP, so you can do it in a normal match, but that's not what I would recommend. Or you host an own portal server and do it over there, but you can't do it in solo or co-op matches or against AI. If you don't want to create an own experience you can use my code for it, which is AA1. DRF. On this server there are all maps in the correct order and once you finish the objectives on the first map you just go to the menu, then admin and then load the next map. This way you can complete the easter egg within about one hour. And if you should watch this video when season 4 has already started, the easter egg might not be active anymore, so be quick and get your rewards as long as it is available. But now let's head over to Spearhead where it all starts and here you have to activate three satellites. The first first one is inside of the factory at C2 in the middle of the map and when you are coming from the Russian spawn and stand in front of it, just get up with that zip line here, up the ladder, through the ventilation and then turn right and below this platform there is the first satellite. Interact with it to play a transmission and then head to the next one. This can be found at the factory at E1 and when you're standing in front of it, keep left and walk along the side of the building and pretty close to the end there is this yellow container. Climb up there and you will find the next satellite. When the transmission was played, head back to C1 and when you are standing close to it, between the objective and this crashed drone, turn towards the edge of the map and here you can see this little corner right there. That's where you have to go and where the last satellite is located. Once the transmission was played, you unlock the first of four player card backgrounds and start an event where a missile is launched at the Nordvik factory. And that completes part one of the easter egg. For the second part you have to head over to Manifest and first interact with three small radios, then with three bigger jammers and at the end open a container. If you use the 64 player map like I did, there is one radio and one jammer hidden in each sector, but you have to interact with the radios first. One can be found on top of the crane in sector A right here and when I say on top it's really on top, so you better get in with McKay and his grappling hook to get to this location. Interact with it and another transmission is played. In sector B the radio is a lot easier to find cause it's inside of the building next to the objective area and when you're standing in front of it just get up the stairs to the second floor and look for this little room here that is still under construction. Turn right and in the corner you will find a little radio. For the last one you need to enter sector C and head towards the edge of the map cause here behind the containers is a blue open trash container, inside of it the third radio. Now you have to look for the jammers. This part is a bit more tricky because there are 9 possible locations for them on the map, 3 in each sector, but for every player only 3 jammers spawn in total, so 1 in each sector. Which means you have to look through all of the locations and see if the jammer has spawned for you over there or not. Once you have found one, just interact with it and step back a bit because it will explode after a few seconds. The three possible locations in sector A are on the ship on one of the red containers close to the corridor, at the rear of the very same ship when you grapple inside of this deck with McKay here in the corner and close to A1 where there is this container you can open from both sides. If the jammer is there it is inside of the container. In sector B, the first one can be found on top of the radio tower on the opposite side of the zip line. The second one is on top of the building on the outside of this staircase. And the third one is very well hidden and there was also the one I had. And this can be found below this round antenna right behind the bars that stabilize it. 
In sector C they are also a bit harder to find and the first one is close to objective C1 but between two containers so when you walk on the outside of this container wall and look up you should be able to spot it. The next one is in a container under the roof close to the American spawn and the last one is close to objective C2 in an open container on the second floor. Once you have interacted with all three jammers, go down to the water in sector C and on top of several containers you can find this white container that is the only one with three lights on it. Before you find radios and jammers, the lights are all red, but now they should be green. Open the container and interact with the data drive that is lying next to the laptop to listen to another transmission and unlock the second player card. Your next step will then lead you to exposure and here the first part is again a bit tricky because you have to find a box in the rocky wall close to the Russian spawn. I would recommend to fly with a heli over there and then go down with a parachute because you can't use McKay here. You need to get in with Rao and his hacking ability. So when you hover in front of the cliff looking at the watchtower the box you need is right there. Once you made it, open it with Rao's suit and interact with the radio. In addition, you also find a note in there that shows the word kingdoms and below it a row of ones and zeros. And what you need to do here is write down the letters with ones below them and ignore the letters with a zero. So for me this was I, N, D and M. Then turn around and go into the communication center at objective B2. Around here you will find 8 small switches and one big switch and you have to activate the switches that fit your letters. The others need to stay untouched. Here you don't have to stick to the order of the word kingdoms, you can activate the necessary switches in the order you find them. The first one is right at the entry to the objective, which is the letter K. The next one is down the corridor and that's the letter O. Then turn right where you can find the next one that shows the Greek letter for delta, which equals the letter D for us. Head down the hallway and look to the mountain picture where you can find the switch for the Greek letter nu, which is N for us. Then on the outside, but still with a view to the picture, is the Greek letter gamma, which equals G. Next to one of the detectors is the switch for mu, which is the letter M. In the back behind the detectors is the letter I. And when you head back to the large switch that is on the wall behind the staircase, you will see the switch for letter sigma, which is S. Once you have interacted with the ones you need, head to the box next to the beak symbol and interact with this as well. Another transmission is played and you unlock the third player card. Now the last step you have to do is head over to Breakaway and find one little radio and an X mark. Here I would again recommend to get in with McKay because that makes it a lot easier to find the X at the end. But first you need to go for the radio and this one can be found in the south of sector D right behind an iceberg close to the edge of the map. Interact with the radio and a transmission is played while the snow next to it melts down and reveals a crate. Open it, take what's inside and head to the oil rig. And here you have to get on top of it again and if you come with the zip line, turn right and then walk along the beam until you see a white X. Interact with it two times and you will unlock the last player card, a specialist skin for Angel and the last transmission. And that's the season 3 easter egg completed. Huge shout out to the Battlefield easter egg community right here that has been very very busy the last few days figuring out the solution and also to the developers at DICE for creating stuff like this. And that's it for today, if you found this video helpful be sure to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.